An East Bay woman is on a quest to live a plastic-free life. ABC 7's Teresa Garcia met up with her for a look at how anyone can reduce their own plastic consumption. This is what's known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Twice the size of Texas, this collection of marine pollution, mostly people's plastic trash, is located within the North Pacific Gyre. It's one of many areas of concentrated debris in the world's oceans, drawn there by currents. Beth Terry of Oakland is a self-described plastic-free advocate. She became compelled a few years ago after seeing shocking photos of dead albatross, I looked at that photo and I, what I saw in there were, were things from my life. I mean, it was bottle caps, toothbrushes, all kinds of everyday plastic things that were ending up thousands of miles from civilization. Back in Oakland, Beth Terry has been trying to do something about it. She started a blog called Fake Plastic Fish. She researches and writes about plastic-free alternatives and has been reducing her own consumption. In 2009, she consumed 3.7 pounds. That's about 4% of the national average of 88 pounds per person a year. She's on a start local, spread global quest to help others take action by reducing, reusing, and recycling plastics. And I first started with plastic bags because plastic grocery bags are easy to give up right off the bat. You know, bring your own bags to the store. Beth also shows us some other easy plastic-free options. Get reusable cotton bags to buy and store your produce or dry foods. Ditch plastic water bottles for a stainless steel one. Forget the plastic utensils. Carry your own reusable ones made of wood or metal. Invest in a glass straw. Use glass or metal containers to store food. Try glass bottles of milk or a cardboard box of dishwasher detergent. And how about shaving with a metal reusable razor? Even the cats can be fed in ceramic bowls. I don't expect people to be as extreme as I am, but what I'm doing is using myself as an example to say, look, this is possible. Teresa Garcia, ABC7 News. And if you'd like to learn more about reducing your plastic use, visit our website, abc7news.com, and click on the Must Reads tab.